Welcome to Conversations Live, where we bring you the best in music, books, entertainment, and more. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 16 years of broadcasting, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience and those tuning in online, we're glad you all could be with us as well. A lot of you guys are talking with us about the health issues that you all are facing. One of the things that has been getting a lot of attention recently is AFib. It's a common form of irregular heart rhythm that is a leading cause of stroke in the United States. What is so sad, though, is up to 30% of people don't even know that they have it until a serious event happens. Here to talk to you guys about the risk factors of AFib as well as a first-of-its-kind virtual study aimed at improving heart health outcomes. We have two very special guests, Dr. Paul Burton as well as Dr. C. Michael Gibson. They'll talk to you guys not only about AFib but also the study as well. Doctors, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Great to be here. Oh, the pleasure is definitely on mine. Dr. Burton, I want to start with you because, I mean, again, those those numbers that are coming out are, are really startling. 30% of people don't even know that they have AFib until there is a serious cardiovascular event. Why is it so difficult to diagnose? Yes, so Cyrus, AFib, as you say, an irregular heartbeat. Uh, many people are walking around today with atrial fibrillation just not knowing it. It's asymptomatic. There's probably 30 million people at least in the world with atrial fibrillation, 6 million people in the United States alone with AFib. And as you say, the startling fact is that one in three people who come to the hospital having had a stroke, their first time of diagnosis is at that point having had a stroke. And yet atrial fibrillation is easy to detect, either using great technology like the Apple Watch or even doing an EKG in the doctor's office. And it can then be treated. So that's why... We have uh, collaborated with Apple uh, to start the Heartline study. Wow. We're going to definitely get more into the Heartline study and bring Dr. Gibson in. But Dr. Burton, I have another question for you, though, before we talk to Dr. Gibson. Um, what are some of the risk factors? I mean, we talked about it being an irregular heart rhythm, of course, leading to stroke. But what are some of the risk factors that people need to know that are, that are really likely when it comes to AFib? Yes. So, so the commonest ones are things like high blood pressure, uh, higher body weight, some obesity, diabetes. Sometimes thyroid conditions can cause it as well, but perhaps the commonest one, of course, is older age. We know that atrial fibrillation risk just goes up and up as you get older. Mm. And again, that's why for this Heartline study, we're enrolling specifically anybody over the age of 65. Wow. So as we said, this is a first-of-its-kind virtual study. Dr. Gibson, really glad you could be with us. Talk to us about what the Heartline study is and and why it's beneficial for our audience. Well, myself and some other academic uh, physicians are teaming up with Dr. Burton and Jane Jane Apple to do what you call the virtual study. What does that mean? It means that it's a study you can do from home, from the comfort of your own house. I. Uh, What we're trying to do is we're trying to use the Apple app, the Heartline app, to educate people about their risk of heart health issues, and then in some cases, randomize people to the use of that Apple Watch to possibly detect some of those 2 million cases of silent atrial fibrillation out there. Ultimately, uh, one of the questions is, can we possibly reduce the risk of stroke if people know that they have atrial fibrillation? Uh, So it's virtual. Do it at home. You can go to heartline.com to get engaged and see if you want to participate. A lot of great information there on Heartline.com. We're going to remind our audience of that again. For those who are just tuning in, we're joined today by Dr. Paul Burton and Dr. C. Michael Gibson. They're talking with us not only about AFib and not only how common it is, again, sadly leading to 30% of people uh, not even realizing that they have this serious cardiovascular um, issue, but also what this new virtual study is able to do, the Heartline study. So, Dr. Gibson, I want to stay with you for a second. Uh, Do you have to have AFib to take part in the study? Well, Cyrus, thanks for asking it. And the answer is no. We want people who don't have AFib to participate along with those people who do have AFib. Uh, If you're 65 or older, if you have traditional Medicare 
if you have an iPhone 6s or higher, uh, you can participate right from the comfort of your own home if you just go to heartline.com. So you don't have to have a fib to be in. In fact, we want to see if we can detect it if it develops. Got you. Well, Dr. Burton, to bring you in uh, as we wrap up here, of course, people, when they hear about things like this that sound too good to be true, there's normally a cost involved. So does it cost anything, Dr. Burton, for people to participate in the study? Yes, Cyrus. So if you get uh, randomized to the watch, then you are offered to purchase the watch at what we call study-specific pricing. So it's affordable. Uh, we do not want cost to be a barrier to enrollment. And in fact, there's even a no-cost loan option uh, of a watch that you would return at the end of the study. So we wanted to make it just as easy as possible for everybody, as Dr. Gibson says, over the age of 65, without atrial fibrillation, to be able to come into Harvard. What great information. And again, uh, great to have this information about this new virtual study. Again, you guys can go to heartline.com for more information. Definitely invite you all to do that, to share it with your family and friends. Joining us today, we've had Dr. Paul Burton and Dr. C. Michael Gibson. Doctors, thank you so much for the time, and, and it goes without saying, you're welcome back here anytime. Thank you, Cyrus. Great to be with you. Thank you for that. And we thank your audience for tuning into this segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live today. Let's make today amazing. Take care.